Alright, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here for some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot DLC 6 content, and today we're going to be unlocking full power end of Z Goku. As we all know, we do have two new super attacks. The first one is called Dragon Flash, and we also have Transcendence Kamehameha. A cool thing about this variation of Goku is that we can unlock combo level 5, which is epic because I'm tired of using the same old combo string. And yes, Dragon Flash combo level 5 as well as Transcendent Kamehameha can all be unlocked through the main storyline as well, which is very cool. Uh, after we get those three, we do have the two original attacks from Main Z Goku, Dragon Fist, and Dragon Hammer Strike. So without further ado, make sure to drop a like on the video and let's hop straight into it. I am level 271, 29 levels away from max. You know, just doing intense damage. So everything's going to be pretty dang easy. Uh, to unlock the auto Super Saiyan transformations, we have to complete the tough training grounds. Uh, that's also like the fastest way to level up. Of course, we can just beat the side missions, but after we do all of that, tough training ground missions are the way to go to level up your character. Uh, I think I'm going to be dropping a video on how to level up extremely fast because there is a method to get extra experience points. And it just comes in handy. So, we now have Dragon Flash. A technique that puts Goku behind his opponent with blinding speed. It consumes little key, allowing the user to dodge or follow up with an attack. Alright, so the cool thing about this is that it consumes barely any key, right? Here it is! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Damage. Oh, what the heck? Dragon Flash is a super attack that allows you to move behind your opponent at ultra high speed. This super attack allows you to dodge enemy attacks and instantly close the distance with opponents you've knocked away using a combo or another super attack. So you can keep hitting them with follow-up attacks. That is pretty dang awesome. You can also cancel combos and other super attacks into this super attack at any time as if Surge is active. Alright, so a different variation somewhat while Surge is activated. That is cool. Oh! Oh! Yo, the lightning speed, did you see that? Oh, wait, th that, that's transcendent, Kamehameha. What? We have two variations of that? No way, look how epic the effects are. Oh, high speed, wait. What was that the instant transmission sound effect that I heard? Oh, it is, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's try to actually use it correctly in a combo. There's that. So just into a basic combo string. Now into a super. Hey, kind of like instant transmission Kamehameha or warp. Let's see what happens after we spam it. Oh, whoa. That is intense. So let's try this out once more. Dang. Imagine mastering this attack and utilizing every single combo string in Super. Oh, he dodged that one right there. So it could technically act as an evasive. Oh, so that's the super attack cancellation. That just drains my energy bar, though. Let's try that once more. Oh, I thought we were going to get the clash right there. Oh, imagine if Goku was fast enough to throw out the Kamehameha Blast and then teleport and then use it again and then the opponent gets hit by both energy waves. <laughs> That'd be cool. Uh, activate Surge and try this out. Even faster because normally in Surge mode you can spam supers right off the bat. Yo, so what I just explained earlier, we can technically do that with Spirit Bomb since it stays there. Oh, that would be epic to use. The destructive power of this Kamehameha transcends all others. Holding down the button will alter the attack into something even more powerful. Uh, before we use this, we have to uh, max level the attack itself to level 3. I don't know how much damage it's doing now. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and unlock level 5. Now, let's go over to the tough training grounds and go up against Vegeta. It would have been cool if they implemented the animated cutscenes from the main story in this battle here. But that's not the case. Not the case at all. Uh, let's do this easy knockback. Oh, wait, wait, wait. First, first, we have to break down the new combo strings. Already with the lightning speed. One-handed energy blast! Angry Kamehameha, I guess. <laughs> Not really, it's just a normal energy wave. But man, I'm so happy that they... Oh, so it ends it off with a small variation of Dragon Fist. No way, so this right there is like the very first one that I noticed with the rapid consecutive speed. And then, right there, something similar. That was that, That's actually something similar to Super Saiyan Blue. Yo, that's Super Saiyan Blue combo animation. Watch this part. That first punch where he does the uh, single hit and then we have the rapid consecutive attacks after and then into the second hit punch. That's literally from Super Saiyan Blue. No way. I told y'all. End of Z. He can't necessarily transform into any of his god forms. However, we do have the essence of Blue Goku. Hey, And then the one-handed... I'm having a hot blast into the uh, mini dragon fist. Surge mode activated. Please tell me the surge combo string changes. Oh, what? That, that's, that's the original Super Saiyan 3 one still. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, so let's go ahead and use... Oh, we dodged the shockwave. Transcendent Kamehameha. Alright, first the original variation. Oh, not this, man. Not this. <laughs> you can drastically increase the damage output of Transcendent Kamehameha by charging it. Alright, so that's the uh, different variation. We can charge it. Uh, begin charging the super attack by pressing and holding the button. When the key in Goku's hand expands, the attack will be at peak power. Peak. Nothing but peak. Watch your opponents carefully and pick the perfect timing to strike with all of your might. Yep, just what I'm doing right now. Finishing a fight with Transcendent Kamehameha always counts as a super finish. Oh, Brent's new uh, cinematic finisher, I think. Cool. Hey, that was epic. What the heck? That energy wave, <laughs> it looks extremely wavy. So that's the original variation. Where we just press it once. This one even has its own unique design. It has that very unique space or galaxy energy to it, if you will. I know that doesn't necessarily make sense, but you know what I mean? I guess, hence the name Transcendent Kamehameha. Oh my gosh! The new cinematic finisher! I low key forgot to showcase the different level 5 combo variations. Let's see if we have any. So that's the, of course, the standard combo. We have the rapid speed for the cross inputs. That's cool, utilizing that after the original one. Alright, alright, before we showcase the rest of the moves, full power. Oh, we're going to get the stun cinematic as well! Alright, so as soon as he about to replenish, we're just going to use it. A very unique design that they went with for the energy wave. Oh, yeah, let's actually activate Surge and spam Transcendent Kamehameha. Let's see if we can spam the chargeable variation. It does take a lot of key, understandable. Very awesome when the attack overpowers uh, the opponent's key blast. So I don't think nothing happens when you charge it for like 10 minutes straight. It's, it's the same one as when we get the first indicator of when it's fully charged. 
Round three, I don't think I showcased the cinematic variation of Dragon Flash. I don't think we're going to have one just because it's just hypersonic speed. Oh! Oh, that's the best combo string right there. So the key blast from the combo string into the square. Kamehameha. And then into Transcendent. Oh, cinematic from the combo. All right, here's Dragon Flash. Yep, just as I expected. Oh, so that's cool. We even get the respective cinematics for the different variations of Transcendent Kamehameha. This is it. A fully charged Transcendent Kamehameha. We're doing max damage right now. This is why I activated Surge because we do get super armor thanks to the know-how. Oh, it's about to run out though. Oh, he perfect timing. He's done. Perish! <laughs> now for the energy clash. We just need to wait for Vegeta to use Final Flash. Yeah, I think it would be cooler if uh, we go up against Final Flash just because uh, we're going to try to recreate what happened in the story mode. Victory! Victory! It's going to be extremely dang tough to land a chargeable Transcendent Kamehameha. I don't even think that's going to be possible, to be honest. Oh! No! So close! Literally so close! <laughs> Only if I started charging it a lot sooner. Ah! We got it! We actually got it! Whoa! Look at that! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Ultimate finish oh, with the cinematic. Oh, no cinematic for that one. Ah, that would have been too great. <laughs> anyway, this is it for today's video. We got the new Dragon Flash and Transcendent Kamehameha for DLC 6 and of Z Goku. This is it for today's video. Of course, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.